Yo, what's going on guys? It's Steve. If you're in the New York area or the New England area and you know what's going on right now outside, I wish I was back in Florida. Now, Florida is still a little cold and I'm born and raised in New York, but I wish I was in Florida because I like that warm beach weather. But I'll sit here and I'll tell you this right now. The Oklahoma City Thunder are actually starting to dominate. They're 21 and 17. Now, that may not seem great, but if you look at the start that they had, yeah, I believe at one point they were like, yeah, you know, eight and twelve, eight and fourteen, and something disgusting like that, like the Lakers should be. Yeah, you know, but they beat the Los Angeles Lakers last night, and I'm watching part of the game, and I'm seeing the team actually have flow to their offense. I'm seeing Melo, Paul George, Russ. I'm just seeing flow, fluidity, smoothness. I'm seeing just capability, trust. I'm seeing confidence. Confidence is the most important thing. You can have the most skill in basketball, but if you don't have any confidence, then it ain't worth nothing. Look at LeBron. You know, there's been there's been some times, like the 2011 finals, you lose that confidence when people are booing at you and, and the world hates you. You know, you could have all the skills in the world, but you don't have that confidence, you can't do anything. All right, so I'm seeing confidence return to the Oklahoma City Thunder. And let me tell you something that really impressed me last night. Carmelo Anthony, Paul George, and Russell Westbrook, neither one of them, neither one of the three, scored, uh, played more than 30 minutes. But yet they all scored over 20 points per game. This team should be like this every single damn time. They should be like the Warriors, like Steph, KD, Clay, scoring 20 plus. KD and Steph, 30 plus. And Clay, 20. And Draymond, 10, with an almost a triple double in less than 30 minutes playing three quarters. It should be like that every single game, just like the Warriors. Now, it's going to get there eventually. It's going to take time for the Oklahoma City Thunder to get to that level, but they're getting there. You know, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they get in there. I knew it was going to take time. I didn't know it was going to take this much time. We're a long way in the season. You know, we're at the halfway mark. But it's, you know, it's, they're doing their thing. Now, let me read out this box score. Paul George played pretty well last night. He played 27 minutes, had 24 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals. And he shot 64% from the field, 9 of 14. All right. Carmelo Anthony played 26 minutes. He had 21 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, and he shot 57% from the field, and he shot 8 of 14 from the field. Now, when I'm seeing this, I'm looking at Golden State type efficiency. KD and Steph are pretty much 50, 40, 90. Okay, now listen to this. Russell Westbrook, he played 27 minutes. He had 20.6 rebounds, 12 assists, 1 steal. He shot 58.8% from the field, 10 of 17 from the field. The team for a total shot 60% from the field. Now, let me say, did you see that windmill by Ferguson? When you get, look, look, look. Let me say here and tell you this right now. It's different when you get a younger star player like Russ or Paul George hype. But when you get someone like Carmelo Anthony hype and, you know, up off the bench and clapping and waving his towel. When you get someone on the level, uh, all-time greatness of Carmelo Anthony up off his feet. Dancing, smiling, prancing, laughing. You know that you did something special. You know you did something special when you do something like that. Okay, because Melo's seen it all. 15 years prior, he's seen it all. But let's not harp on that. That dunk by Ferguson, first of all, I thought he's... First of all, the commentators thought he was going to do a 360. When he wound it up like this, I was like, oh my goodness, he's about to do between the legs. But dude, he did an actual windmill. Most people, you know, they do a windmill, but they start the windmill all the way down from their crotch. Like, you know, let's say this is their body and they started from down here like this. But some people, the real athletic players, Paul George can do this. I've seen Paul George do this. They bring it up above their head and then all the way down and back around. I was like, damn, I was like, oh, shoot. I was like, whoa, what is going on? I was, was like, damn, I see you, man. You doing your thing. I see you. You know, so when I see Ferguson doing dunks like this, and he had 24 points. Steven Adams had 12, 6, 2, 1, and 3. 12.6 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 3 blocks. You know, all of them shooting above 50%. Ferguson shot 75%, and this is someone that comes off the bench that no one even knows who he is. Okay, Steven Adams shot 60%. Melo shot 57. Paul George shot 64. J Jeremy Grant, Jerry and Grant, excuse me, that's Jerry and Grant from, he used to play with my New York Knicks. He shot 60% from the field. Russell Westbrook shot 58.8%. 
okay? And a bunch of other bums that I don't know have shot over 50% as well. There's not one single player that played in this game that did not shoot, uh, except, of course, Collison and Raymond Felton has to ruin it. But Raymond Felton had four rebounds and 10 assists. Of course, Raymond Felton has to ruin it, though. Like, like, like what he did with the New York Knicks. Let me see here. I'll tell you this right now. If you're an Oklahoma City Thunder fan, which I am not, I only want Melo to win. I could care less about the team. I could care less about that franchise. Real talk. New York Knicks over everyone. But I'll sit here and I'll tell you this right now. If you're an Oklahoma City Thunder fan, you have to be excited. Because like Russell Westbrook said, the only way to keep Paul George is to win a championship. And let me tell you this right now. I'm actually, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not saying I think they will because Golden State's still clearly the better team. <laughs> this Golden State team is the best team in NBA history. I'm sorry, but <laughs> come on. But I'll sit here and tell you just right now. If anyone has a chance in the Western Conference to beat the Golden State Warriors, it's the Oklahoma City Thunder. Without a doubt. The, if anyone has a chance, it's Carmelo. It's Russ. It's Paul George. It's Steven Adams. They have the chance to do this. And if Raymond could come in and have 10 assists like that, 4 rebounds, he has 0 points, but he still did his thing. You know, Ferguson can come in, and, and, and Jerry and Grant, and, the, and Patrick Patterson, and the rest of them boys, they can get a few more shooters. It'd be over, man. It's going to be a wrap. Like, it's really going to be over for the league. There's not going to be one single thing that... I can't, I can't, I can't sit there and say that. Uh, realistically, I'll, I'll say that I'll tell you this right now. OKC has a big chance of beating Golden State. Now, I'll say that I'll tell you this. If they beat Golden State, it's over. Cleveland, I'm sorry. But if they get the momentum to beat Golden State, Melo is not going to allow the, the, the Oklahoma City Thunder to lose to the Cavaliers, especially since he's going up against LeBron James. Think about how big and huge that would be. They would market that more than they market LeBron versus Kevin Durant because this is what the world has wanted to see since 2003. Here's basketball with Steve rhyming accidentally. They're going to hype that up more than anything we've ever seen. Like they did with Kobe and LeBron and the Muppets. It's going to be 10 times that going to be 10 times that and there's no way Melo's I'm not saying Melo's going to outplay LeBron I'm just saying Melo, Ross, PG and the rest of them, heart and confidence over everything and that's not knocking the Cavaliers, I'm just saying if OKC gets far enough and they beat the Warriors, I don't see the Cavaliers beating them because it's all about momentum you know, and it's going to be like wow I'm going to sit back and be like dang my main man Carmelo Anthony finally, he finally got what he wanted after all these years, he finally got what he wanted. And I'm going to sit back and just be like, wow. Good for you, Melo. You know, I'm just going to be like, dang, Melo, you finally did it. You finally got what you wanted your entire life. So let me tell you this right now. If you're an OKC fan, you better be hype. I'm hype. Not because I'm a fan of the Thunder. Just because I want to see Carmelo Anthony win a ring. Um, now, I'll I'll tell you this right now. They're looking really good. If they can play like they played last night against the Los Angeles Lakers. Bye, bye, bye. Ignore your calls now. They're going to stack these rings from wall to wall now. They're probably not going to win more than one. Um, just because, you know, Melo's at that older age. And, you know, I, I know Russ and PG are still younger. But, you know, they need all three to be clicking on all cylinders. Because, let's be real for a second. Russ is good as hell. Melo's good as hell, PG is good as hell, but LeBron James is the greatest of all time. There's a big difference. Let me see, I'll tell you this right now. Steve, the Boston Celtics aren't going to beat Cleveland. Look, I'm not even a Celtic fan. I just had a feeling, a very, very bad feeling that I couldn't get out of my stomach. So that's why I said, you know what, Boston's going to upset the Cavaliers. I just have that tingling sensation inside of me. So let me end this video like this. OKC's doing their thing. And my New York Knicks are disappointing me. We just lost to the Washington Wizards. I'm not saying Washington is terrible. But, I mean, they're not having a great year. They're injured. You know, John Wall's been injured. And, and it's just like, come on. You know, my Knicks, we started off hot. We do this every year. Chris Stotts Porzingis is being inconsistent. And I, I, I'm a little upset. I know injuries are messing him up. But it's like, damn, why can't my Knicks just win one for once? Could you imagine that? 
if the New York Knicks won an F. <laughs> that would be crazy. Anyway, I'm going to end the video off like this. This snow is ridiculous. Now I got to go walk in the snow. I just came back from the gym. Hey, man, Steve, I'm out of here, man. Peace.